Hey guys, it's Conservative Nerd. My light is going to be crappy. It's dark out. I can't ever seem to get the lighting right, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to find a lamp that'll work to give me some better lighting. I had to do this video. Because this is a video where I say, I told you so. What did I tell you on? I said messing with Melissa Org is nothing but bad news. Turns out, I was freaking right. <laughs> okay, so here's what goes down. Melissa Borg gets... All of a sudden, some video came up from Penelope Blood, which is probably Melissa Borg. And the DNC, it went to him, so he watched it and then did a video on it. And then, not very long after... That video was taken down, and he was hit with a strike. I, I watched it. I was, I was, luckily enough, I was on there when it popped up, and I watched it, and it was taken down like 10 minutes later. I, I, what a nut job this chick is, or this dude, or whoever this is, because obviously there's a voice modulation going on, like, it, to make it sound like it's a, a really old lady and it's really creepy and basically it's her this old lady saying how Melissa Morgan's gone. She's gone. She's she's she left social media because she got ran off of two live streams by DNC fans. She didn't mention the fact that it was Ingleton's live stream, God forbid, you know, this is everything goes on DNC. I mean, I guess, you know So now she got doxxed or, or, or fake doxxed because I haven't seen anything on anybody posting who she was or where she lived. Supposedly they outed her address and everything. So she's gone. She had to leave social media for fear of her life. And it's all on DNC. So, you know, playing with these people isn't really doing anybody any good, is it? Uh... I didn't stress myself very good on the last video about this. I'll admit that. I came off as a crazy person. I'll admit that. I was a little upset. I Freedom of speech, you know, when somebody's trying to take away somebody's freedom of speech, which she is, which Melissa Morg, I don't care what you say, is here for one thing and one thing only to tear down DNC, man. To get his channel gone, to get his voice gone, to get him off Twitter, to get, you know, to, to out this guy and to get rid of his voice. To call him a Nazi, to... You know, you can look at her tweets, dude. All she tweets about is genocide, and he's a Nazi, and he's literally Hitler, and just, she doesn't tweet about comics, so I don't understand what kind of debate you guys had. This is for some of the hate that I got, the haters, I don't really care. If you want to hate me, you can go right ahead and hate me. I'm just sticking up for freedom of speech. I never said that DNC was my leader. I'm not shoving my head up his ass. I'm not kissing his ass. I don't... I'd do the same for fucking Ingleteen, you know? If I thought somebody was trying to get the guy's voice banned, I would be speaking out against it. I'm against, you know, silencing voices. Because I think freedom of speech is the greatest thing we have in America. If you take away our freedom of speech, then we're no better than England or France or Germany or any of these shitty countries or Canada. We're no better than them. If you, you know, this gender pronoun laws they got in California that they got in England. Like, I don't want that. That's bad. I am for freedom of speech. It wasn't about DNC. I don't think me and DNC are going to be friends. I'm not kissing his ass. I don't know the guy. I just don't think the guy should be silenced. And I see this person as a person who wants to silence him. That wants him removed. There's no debate in her. She doesn't want to debate. She wants to tear DNC down. If you guys wanted to have her on your channel and debate comics, that's fine. But to have her on your channel to debate DNC, and if he's racist, that's not your place. That's DNC's place. I'm sure if you would have said to, to Diversity in Comics, if you would have asked him, Hey, we're going to have Melissa Morgan, where we're going to debate you, and if you're racist or not, and one of the people that's going to be in your corner is my unbelievably liberal SJW brother, Chef Jackass. I, I wasn't going to name call this, so Chef Jack. I'll take the ass right out. Uh... Is going to be in your corner who is who hates you because he thinks you talked about his kids because he's got you confused with Captain Cummings. I think DNC would have said no. 
don't, please don't do that. All you had to do was say, hey, this is about comics. This isn't about DNC. He's not here, so we're not going to, you know, debate him. It's not our place to debate DNC. What he says is what he says, and what we say is what we say. I don't think it was your place to debate DNC. I try to say this nicer than I did the last time. So, you know. But no, it's not your place to debate DNC. His, he, he isn't going off and debating Ingleteen's channel, you know what I mean? I mean, all you had to say was, you know, hey, we're here to talk about comics. If you got something to say about comics, then say it. But she doesn't ever talk about, I've never seen her talk about comics. I never have, so I don't understand what the big deal is. You know, I got a comment saying that if everybody took, uh, went by my uh, logic, if everybody went by my logic, that we wouldn't be able to debate nobody. And I never said that. I never said that. What I said was, she's a nut. She's a crazy person who wants to get him torn down. Ten to one says, this probably ends with Melissa Morg, who isn't a real person, by the way, so, you know, is going to kill herself. And, ooh, there's going to be whispers about how the DNC people were, got this poor girl killed, she killed herself because we harassed her so much. Because she's not a real person, so she, they can do whatever they want with her. She can kill herself, because she doesn't exist. He is looking, like, no matter what happens, it all goes back on him. It goes back to him. You have no dog in this fight, because you're not in, in any danger. None of, none of these people are, so they don't give a shit. I don't care if you dislike DNC. You, you, you shouldn't want to see him silenced because he didn't say racist stuff. And, and Chef Jack, you can say, because he says right in the comment section, a man in a wig is a racial slur. That's a fact. That's, that's not a fact, okay? That's very, very, very debatable. I mean, it's a fact alone that Trans people aren't a race, so I don't see how man in a wig could be a racial slur when they're not a freaking race. You see, the N-word has a lot of bad connotations to it, to black people. The same with any Hispanic slurs on Hispanic people. If he said those things, I'd be like, oh yeah, he's, he's pretty racist. And I wouldn't, you know, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm not going to get in on that. I'm not going to get involved. But... <coughs> You guys want to throw him under the bus for man in a wig? If you have a penis and you're wearing a wig, you're a man in a wig. This isn't, this is facts against feelings crap. This is, you know, this is, you know, you're anti-fact then. If you think that, then you're anti-fact. But you shouldn't have been debating DNC in the first place. It's my, it's my argument on this. I don't even want to get into a trans thing because I think that's a whole can of worms that once that gets opened up, we're in for the end of the, you know, like, holy shit, you know, we're into some weird shit now, because then we got to deal with trans species and transracial and pedophiles and incest and all this other stuff that they these left-wing SCWs are going to bring up. We should protect children, okay? Letting trannies into whatever bathroom they want isn't protecting children, okay? I've seen, like, a bunch of articles on this this stupid trans dude. He's a guy in a wig. Man in a wig went into a women's restroom and molested a 10 year old. Well, she told, and he got arrested. And now I've seen like three articles kind of bashing the, the 10 year old. Like, oh, how do we know that her parents didn't set her up for this? And oh, this is just against trans people. This is a setup. This is a 10 year old kid. Why, why would you ever, you know, attack a 10 year old kid? But that's what we're going to be dealing with, man. When these kids come out and say, oh, I was molested. Oh, it was trans. They can't molest you. You know, this is what you're dealing with here. We're opening up a bag of worms. It's just sick. We should protect children. That You know, if anything, we should protect children. So, you know, that shit fucks them up so bad. We should never put kids in danger. I don't give a shit about their feelings. They can shit whatever they shit. I don't care. Wherever we tell them to shit, that's where you shit. If you don't want to shit in our house, you should be happy, man. My great-grandma shit in our house. And we went down to West Virginia where they came from and visited them when I was little. And they had an outhouse. And that was in the 70s they had an outhouse. So, you know, you get to use a porcelain toilet, you should shut up. 
I don't want to get in on the trans crap because I really wanted to talk about this. Except Jack said I was a drunk. I don't drink. I can't drink because I got a bad ticker. He told me if I drink, it could kill me. So I don't drink. I mean, I'm sure it probably wouldn't kill me to have a beer. But, you know, when somebody says it could kill you, you just you just go, oh, I won't drink anymore. So I haven't had a drink in like 10 years. I'm just passionate. I just give a shit. I'm sorry that I give a shit. And it isn't because I love DNC and I think we're going to have sleepovers together. And, you know... <laughs> his mom's gonna like set up play dates with us no it's just i do it for anybody i don't think anybody should lose their freedom of speech i'm sorry if that makes me the bad guy the standing up for freedom of speech makes me the bad guy then i'll be the fucking bad guy till the fucking cows come home man because i am for freedom of speech and if anybody knows anything about me they know i chug news all day i'm a do chugger i don't drink them i chug them man i'm a chugger i like my do i don't drink so, I'm not a drunk. But I think that's like SJW projectionism because I know that SJWs always project. So, you look at uh, Chef Jack's uh, screenshot, man. He's got a rosy, rosy red face. Little red, rosy fucking cheeks there, motherfucker. If anybody's a drunk, buddy, it's you, man. Because I can tell the difference between DNC and Captain Cummins, dude. I can tell the difference. But somebody that's probably tossing back Grandpa's old cough syrup can't. Yeah, I'm just saying, dude, this wasn't your place. You know, why are you debating DNC? I mean, it's not you, it's DNC. I mean, I don't get it. But yeah, that's... Basically now, he's looking that there's probably more coming, too. I, I, I guarantee something else is going to drop. And this is a setup, man. This is all a setup, dude, and you guys bit right into it, man. You guys bit right into it. I mean, I've never hardly... I think all I've ever said to that chick was, you're crazy and you need mental help. And, you know, it was... She wasn't going out to I Love Comics and talking on his channel. She was talking on DNC's channel and talking in, in the DNC's Twitter. Anything he tweeted, she'd be on there saying, and there's I Love Comics right there behind her. Oh, come on my channel and debate. And then, you know... What are you getting out of that? What'd you get out of that? You brought her on there so you could say that man in wig is a racist slur? What good does that do anybody? It doesn't do anybody any good. Does it make you look liberal? I guess. I mean, if that's what you were going for, I don't know what you were going for. I, I just, all you had to say was, hey, let's talk about comics. But she doesn't talk about comics because she doesn't know anything about comics. So how are you going to debate her about comics? No, you're just going to talk about DNC. Because she, she used you. Like, you know? You know, this great debater that you are, it seems like if you're such a great debater, you could tell that you were going to get used, you know? I don't know. I just thought the whole thing was stupid. And uh, I said as much because, you know, that's what I'm going to do. That's that's my freedom speech, and I'm going to use it, man. And again, this wasn't about kissing DNC's ass. This was about sticking up for freedom of speech. This is, you know, that's what I'm here for, man. I mean... They take away man in a wig. What comes next? You know, just more words get taken, more stuff. I mean, they ban him to kill a mockingbird in libraries. You know, it's like what the hell? Why are you banning books? That's that's Hitler. That's what Hitler did. He banned books, man. Ban our freedom, man. Take it all away. You know, and what are we gonna be left with? Just a bunch of SCW shit. I ain't want it. just a bunch of left wing propaganda. Nah, I don't want that, man. I don't think anybody wants that. So, yeah, I mean, if you hate me, you hate me. I'm not going to change your mind, and I'm not asking to change your mind, man. I've been hated before, dude. I'll be hated again. Oh, another one I got was that DNC kind of deserves this because uh, he pushes back. Well, you know, I grew up in Flint, okay, in the ghetto of Flint. So, one thing you learn growing up in a rough neighborhood is if you get pushed and you don't push back, you're not going to make it out of that neighborhood, okay? You learn to get tough. You learn to fight back. If somebody pushes you, you learn that you better hit them in the face hard. You better put them down and you better keep putting them down. Or they're going to, you know, kick the shit out of you every chance they get. They're going to fucking leave you for dead. You know, if you don't fucking get tough, you get hurt. And that's, you know, it depends on where you grow up. You know, a lot of people grow up in different spots. And, you know, if you listen to Katy Perry, we're supposed to fight violence with love, with hugs. If somebody tries to stab you, just hug them, you know. Where I'm from, that'll get you killed. So, yeah. 
I mean, it all depends on your, your outlook on life. My outlook on life, if someone pushes you, you better hit them. Or you're probably going to get your ass beat. Because if they see weakness, they're going to use it. And I'm not saying go out there and attack people. No, I'm just saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with fighting back. You're just laying over and rolling over and dying isn't going to help you at all. Um... I'm trying to say this as nice as possible, you know, I just, because I, I, I watched the last video, and I thought, wow, man, I went a little, it, it came off a little worse than I would have liked. It's, and that's my fault, because I do the video, and then I download it onto YouTube, because a lot of times it'll come on there messed up for some weird reason. It's a shitty phone. So, I have to download it on YouTube, then watch it, and then, after I watched it, I was going to take it off, and, because I thought, man, it comes off way too harsh. And I went to take it off, and it already had like 7 views, so I was it's like, I'm going to look like a pussy if I take it off now, so I just left it up. But I've been meaning to get to another video where I explain why I come off that rob, because I am passionate about freedom. I don't want to see anybody lose their voice, and especially somebody that... He's never said anything racist. You want to get him on hate speech and racist. That's horse shit. And you know it's horse shit, Ingleton. You know the guy's not a racist. So for you guys to sit there and paint him as a racist, it kind of, it's, it, it's kind of annoying, you know. I, I don't think the guy needs any help getting pushed off the cliff. I think there's enough people out there who want him pushed off the cliff. So I really don't see why you, you're helping. I mean, I, I, I don't think he did it. Out of evil, I don't think he did it. Out of hey, I want to get rid of DNC, and that didn't come off in that last video. So I, I'm saying that now. I don't, I don't think he did it out of evil, or I just think he did it out of ignorance, ignorance and a little smugness that you know. Because let's face it, Melissa Moore Grant circles around you, and she got you to say what she wanted you to say. All you had to say was, we're not going to talk about DNC, we're going to talk about comics. That's it. That's all you had to say. But you couldn't say that. You know, that's what I would have said. I would have just said, you know, this is a video about comics. If you want to come on here and discuss what's wrong, what's right with comics, then do it. But don't come on here just bashing DNC, because he isn't here to defend himself. But that's what I basically wanted to say, guys. If I offended anybody with my language, I'm sorry. It was a little harsh. But, uh... Hey, I'm a passionate guy, man. I'm a passionate guy, and I look, you know, I'm looking out for freedom of speech, man, because I know if they take him, then they take Doug Ernst, then they take Nurkish, then they take Captain Cummins, you know, and then we're all going to be stuck watching Comic Story and Comics Explained, and we're going to have just the same old left wing bullcrap, man, and Professor Thorgy and every other left winger. That's all we're going to get on comics, and I don't want that. You guys don't want that. I don't think anybody wants that. So, you know. If you hate me after this, you still hate me, hey, you're more than welcome to. It's a free country, and I stand for that, and I will always stand for that. Because freedom is the only thing that sets us apart from other countries, is our freedom of speech. And once we lose that, then, you know, then we're the same as everybody else. So, I don't want that. I stand for America. And, uh, I just want to say, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for hearing me out, and, uh, you know, that's what I got to say, you know. I just, that's my side of it. As my side is, I made a video saying, hey man, if you you guys mess with this, isn't going to end well. And it didn't. So, I told you so. But again, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.